Congratulations on the purchase of your new hook piece. In this video, I am going to show you the correct assembly and disassembly process for the desk and the accessories. So it should arrive in a box like this. If you're getting the bundle, the accessories will also be included. You can flip open the top um, and you're going to want to keep the desk in the box while you're assembling it if possible. That way you'll just ensure you're not going to scratch the top. The first thing you want to do is remove the legs from the chassis and click them into the joint one by one. So we'd advise you not to pull at the leg. Um, you might damage the stoppers down here if you do that. So the correct way to take the leg out is to focus on the top of the leg with the tooth and spread the tooth and the leg apart with your hands and then lift up and then you can remove the foot end of the leg. So that's how to correctly remove it. You want the, the when putting the leg into the joint, you want the tooth facing to the outside of the table and the large part of the leg towards the inside. So I put that in, I put the back tooth in first, then I simply just press forward and it locks into place. So I just repeat that for the remaining three legs. I focus on the top, I spread the tooth and the leg apart, lift up and then remove the foot. Put the back end of the leg towards the center, put that tooth in and then pull forward and it just locks into place. Do that again right here, spread it apart, lift up and then remove the foot. Wooden end towards the center and then press forward and it locks in. And same again for the last leg. You can do this with two hands or one hand but it is important they try and spread the tooth and the leg apart. Lift up and then take the foot out. Put the back in and then push forward. So that's how you click the legs in and then you've got a handle right here you can reach forward to like pull it up and then you can just flip it out of place and that's it. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, put on the accessories. Okay so now I'm going to show you how to put on the monitor shelf onto the desk. It comes with three parts, the shelf and the two legs. So the correct way to do this is you have the notch out match the back of the notch out of the desk and you want the legs facing this way so the tooth will be in line with the, uh, the cut out of the back. Simply place the tooth in and then you just press down on the top until it locks into place. Do the same with the second one. Put the tooth in and then press down and it locks into place. So then you can flip it over. Once you have the legs locked in, you want to come behind the desk, place these uh, arms right here on the top of the desk and push forward. You really just want to press in with both of your thumbs at the same time and that will just lock into place. Now the shelf can move slightly side to side if you need to store something on this side so there's a bit of flexibility in that but I like to line it up in the middle and uh, that's how you assemble the monitor shelf. For the under shelf comes with three parts, two arms and the, uh, the shelf itself. This is the correct, the correct way up. Um, the underside has like a larger chamfer so that will go towards the bottom. Um, you can flip it upside down to install the arms so the chamfer's at the top. You want the, the tooth at the back towards this um, more undulating part at the back and you just simply push that in and then press down and it'll snap into place. And you can do the same for the other side. It doesn't really matter if you put in the front or the back first and then just press down and it locks into place. And so that's the correct way to install the arms on the undershelf. Okay, so once you've attached the arms to the undershelf, you're going to want to install it to the underside of the desk. And the best way to do this is come to the rear of the desk and place the front of the shelf upwards like that at an angle. Slide it forwards until the two teeth catch that front rail. And then it's really just a matter of like pushing upwards to lock the back teeth in. So I have the front in and then I snap it upwards and it should just lock into place. Um, and now you have your under shelf installed. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you assemble your desk bundle. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the correct disassembly process for the desk bundle. Um, I guess the first thing that you can do is remove the monitor shelf. The best way to do this, rather than just pulling at it, you might, you might damage the uh, legs if you do that. So you wanna get your hands in uh, at the teeth and just simply pull at those gently until it locks out. If you pull here, there's a chance that you might break the legs. So make sure you put your hands underneath and kind of pull the teeth down and then slide it out. So once you've uh, successfully slid the monitor shelf off the back of the desk, the next part is just to remove these vertical legs. Best way to do that, same as the desk leg, you just squeeze the tooth inwards and then hinge out and they just pop right out. 
Same on this one, squeeze the tooth in and lift up and it just pops right out. To remove the undershelf, super easy. Come to the back of the desk and you squeeze the, uh, the teeth at the back of the undershelf, press them and then just bring that part down and then just slide the, the front backwards. And that's how you take it off from the underside of the desk. So now I'm gonna show you how to disassemble the desk. You can flip it upside down. You wanna make sure that you're doing it on a nice rug or a carpet so you're not gonna scratch the top. So first thing to do is remove uh, the legs one by one from the joints and click them back into the chassis. We have um, a profile of the leg drawn out so you know where to put, put the legs. So the best way to do this is to squeeze the tooth inwards and then hinge the leg backwards. So I do that with two hands, squeeze in, then I hinge back and the leg will just pop out. Um, and then I to store this, to store the leg correctly into the chassis, you want to put the foot end in first towards this stopper right here. So I slide the foot, I make sure that the rubber foot is in that stopper and that's locked in. And then I'll come over to the top of the leg and I'll press down and it will just lock into place. So it's important that you put the foot in and then press down on the top of the leg. So I just repeat that process for the remaining three legs. I squeeze the tooth in, hinge back and lift it out. And I line the leg up with the profile, put the foot towards the stopper and then press down on the top of the leg and just locks into place. So squeeze the leg inwards, hinge back, and then I line it up with the profile, put the foot in first on the stopper, and then press down, just locks into place. And their last one, squeeze, hinge, take it out, line it up with the profile, put the foot in, and then press down and then just lock into place. Um, you have a handle here, which is, makes it easy to lift up. It's easy to pick up if you're moving, it's easy to carry. So the piece is very thin, it's about an inch and a half thick. So obviously you can store it under your couch or under your bed, but it's also designed to hang on the wall. So we have a wall cleat back here. There's a separate video online to show you how to install that correctly. The wall cleat is gonna line up with this cleat right here. So if you need to store it on the wall, you can go over, line it up with the wall cleat, lift upwards, and then you'll feel it lock in. And that means that the two teeth have grabbed together and it's safely on the wall. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.